Here we go. This is the top five of the top 30 greatest raw moments in history. Starting off with number five. Steve Austin stuns Vince McMahon for the very first time, 1997. This was in Madison Square Garden. This was, um, I believe, the first time Raw had ever been in Madison Square Garden. So this was a big deal. WWE needed something big for this show. Um, over the past several weeks prior to this, you had Steve Austin becoming more and more out of control. He was stunning people left and right. He stunned Sergeant Slaughter. He stunned Jim Ross. He stunned Jerry Lawler. So there was only one guy left. You had Vince McMahon call out Steve Austin, trying, trying to get him to calm down and trying to plead with him. You got to work within the system. And Steve Austin's like, you know what? I'll be like Cool Hand Luke. I'll work in your stupid little system. And it looks like for a moment, like Steve Austin is, has gone soft here. And he says, I appreciate the fact that you and the World Wrestling Federation care. And I also appreciate the fact that, hell, you can kiss my ass. And he gives Vince McMahon the stunner. Vince doesn't really sell it all that well, but who cares? This was uh, the moment people had been wanting to see for so long. The, uh, the owner of the WWF getting stunned by Steve Austin. Just uh, this was the first of many stunners for Vince McMahon. And this really kicked off the Austin versus McMahon feud. So in my opinion, it's a no-brainer to be in the top five of the greatest role moments of all time. Number four. The debut of Chris Jericho. WWE had done these series of vignettes uh, hyping up this mysterious millennium man that was coming to save the WWF. And um, you had The Rock in the ring. The Rock is cutting this promo. And all of a sudden, the, the countdown starts. Who has the audacity to interrupt The Rock? So that's what everyone's wondering. There's all this buzz. The lights go out. And then all of a sudden, there's a big explosion, music starts, and then you see the letters flash on the screen, Jericho. As soon as you see the, the name Jericho, the entire arena just erupts. I mean, when I watched that segment, I got goosebumps. When I saw the letters and the crowd reaction, and you see Jericho posing on the stage there, I had goosebumps. It was just an amazing segment. And um, <clears throat> you had Chris Jericho turn around, he cut this promo. Um, it was the, the promo of a lifetime. He went out there. This was a guy that had been held down in WCW, and uh, he was making his debut in WWE, and uh, he had a chance to run with the ball, and that's exactly what he did. He went out there and cut the promo of a lifetime. And um, in my opinion, this was the greatest debut by anybody in WWE history. You asked me for my top debuts. This is number one, Chris Jericho making his WWE debut, all-time classic. Number three, Mankind winning the WWF slash WWE title. This was um, taped in the end of 1998. It aired on the first Raw in 1999. This was significant for a number of reasons. The first being that it was Mankind winning the WWE title, something you weren't, were not expecting because he did not fit the mold of... Um, a WWE champion. He was uh, this guy that was kind of out of shape and uh, he didn't look like a movie star, but the fact that he won the WWE title, that in itself was a huge shock. But the fact is, it was up against a huge edition of Nitro. They were hyping up um, Goldberg versus Kevin Nash um, and Tony Schiavone actually gave away what was going to happen because um, Raw was a tape show. So Tony Schiavone, uh, during... during uh, one of the segments on Nitro, he said, oh, by the way, Mick Foley, is, uh, who, used to, who used to wrestle for us as Cactus Jack, is going to win the competition's world title. Huh, that'll put butts in the seeds. So um, the fact that, that he said that and then uh, Mankind won the title, which, by the way, when uh, Mankind won the title, the crowd reaction, that was one of the biggest pops you'll ever see for a title change. I mean, there, there's very few title changes that got the kind of reaction that that got. Steve Austin had come out, he hit The Rock with a chair, Mankind covered The Rock, and the, cr the crowd just came completely unglued. So that, that's a statement you're never, for never gonna forget. And then the ratings came in, and um, when Tony Schiavone said that, people tuned out of Nitro and tuned in The Rock. So there you have it. Just amazing moment for, for Mick Foley and for WWE. A big victory for them. Number two, The Rock and Mankind's 
This is your life. There was no segment like this on Raw before this. And um, besides a couple of cheap imitations, there was really no segment like this afterwards. This was a one-of-a-kind segment. Mankind called out The Rock. They were doing this Rock and Sock Connection storyline. And uh, Mankind did This Is Your Life. He brought out The Rock's high school teacher, his ex-girlfriend, so on and so forth. He brought out Yerpo the Clown. And... Um, these guys had a chemistry that it's hard to find two other guys that could have the chemistry that they had. It was just magic, pure magic here. And um, this was one of those segments where you're watching it, you're not tuning out. You're, you're going to watch it all the way through. And it went something like 20 minutes. So it was a long segment, but it was um, WWE at its very best. You had two guys in there with a tremendous amount of charisma, playing off each other, doing comedy. And uh, just extremely entertaining stuff right here. And a segment that, like I said a few moments ago, they, they tried to recreate it, but it, it's one of those once-in-a-lifetime segments. So this is your life, arguably the greatest moment in Raw history. One of the top moments, for sure. And um, it, it did the all-time biggest rating for a Raw segment. So it was the most watched segment in Raw history, and um, perhaps it could be considered the best segment. But my number one segment has to be Steve Austin confronting Mike Tyson, January 1998. I chose this as the number one greatest segment in Raw history because I think it made the absolute biggest impact for WWE. You had Steve Austin, who was this rising star. He was becoming the biggest star in the industry. All he needed now was a chance to break out into the mainstream. So cue Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is still this huge name, and um, he comes out there. Vince McMahon is, uh, you know, trying to put over Mike Tyson, and then all of a sudden, Steve Austin comes out. Vince McMahon has this, this huge plan for Mike Tyson in WrestleMania, and what the hell is Steve Austin doing here? Steve Austin gets in the ring, gets in Mike Tyson's face. He says, you got your little beady eyes locked on the eyes of the world's toughest son of a bitch. And the crowd just pops like crazy. And uh, um, Steve Austin says, I know a little bit of sign language, so here's to ya. He flips off Mike Tyson, and then all of a sudden, um, Tyson shoves Austin, and then all hell breaks loose. You have all these people, people from Mike Tyson's camp, all the referees, everyone's trying to break these two up. Vince McMahon is furious. He's yelling out, you ruined it, damn it, you ruined it. Um, this was um, done to perfection. They could not have done this segment any better. And um, it, 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 it made a huge impact for WWE because Mike Tyson generated all this mainstream publicity for WWE. And uh, you had all these new eyeballs watching this guy, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And in one night, you, you just created a whole new fan base because all these people are watching it. And they want to see what's going to happen next. They, they start becoming Stone Cold Steve Austin fans. And before you know it, WWE is overtaking WCW in the ratings. And um, the wrestling business, as we knew it, had changed forever. So because of that, that's my number one segment. So that'll wrap things up for the top 30 greatest Raw moments in history. What are your top 30 greatest Raw moments? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What did you think of my list? Uh, what should have I included in the list that I left out? Let me know. Um, give me your feedback. And stay tuned to NoDQ.com for the very latest about the 1000th uh, edition of Raw and uh, future Raws to come.